welcome back to my channel welcome back to gift guide week today we are doing a brand new kind of gift guide that i've never done before and it is dedicated towards or aimed towards couples so a gift guide for them whether it be grandparents whether it be friends that you're buying for like as a couple whether it be kind of in-laws that you're buying for i'm going to kick start this gift guide with a calendar of some kind and i saw this one in boots it's part of their gifting range so their gifting range is always three for two um this one is 10 pounds they had a couple of different sizes um both 10 pounds but i thought i'd go for the table calendar which kind of sits propped up like that on someone's desk you can personalize this calendar and put photos in so a good gift idea for maybe grandparents if you're wanting to do a gift from the kids to maybe pop loads of different photos of the kids in kind of sticking with photos i have an aperture frame down in our basement which i thought i would mention because it's only 16 pounds it's quite a nice bulky item to give someone it's from wilco's if you're buying for like a new pair maybe any photos that they've been putting on their socials of their newborn to pop in there and then obviously they can change them if they want again if you're buying for grandparents you can put loads of different photos of your kids you could buy it for a newlywed couple if you've got loads of images from their wedding day you guys know I love Readly I talk about Readly quite a lot it's a magazine subscription app that you can have on up to five different devices but I thought it'd be a good gift idea to give someone for the couple that seems to have everything maybe a good Good one for your parents a good one for in-laws to be able to gift them a readly subscription it's 9.99 a month with my link as well you can also get two months free so i'll leave that linked below if that's still valid i'm not quite sure but if it is i'll leave it linked below another fail safe option i think is some kind of hamper whether it be themed specifically to the couple with something that they love or a foodie kind of drink type hamper maybe even a home fragrance hamper but i've got a load of items from selfridges now you can get like a real luxury hamper fortnum and masons do them with the gorgeous fortnum and masons uh hamper baskets that, that you can keep year in year out to use as decoration or refill and um, harvey nicks do them hotel chocolat do hampers but i thought i would show you some items i've just kind of got together for a selfridges food haul hamper firstly this little cute selfridges bag of um little chocolate truffles in the shape of christmas puddings all of these items i will say are around about the five pound and under mark do it to suit your budget essentially they do tony's chocolate in there as well so i got this set of mini christmas mix tony's they're the like little tiny versions and then also tony's chocolate do these christmasy edition chocolate bars in the flavors dark candy cane and gingerbread milk chocolate got some joe and seth's popcorn they also do mince pie but i got these speckalos flavor you could go savory as well as sweet they do boxing day chutney which i thought sounded lovely handmade by Thursday Cottage on Throughlands Farm in Essex, an apple, pear, and plum chutney with pork. And um, they've got these gingerbreads in different shapes. I got the Christmas tree one. They've got these uh, tea pigs, loads of different teas and coffees. This is from Tea Pigs, the limited edition winter glue vine flavor. And then I got these for Tom. I'm gonna pop these in his um, stocking this year because he loves Stollen. So they do these uh, mini Stollen bites. And then last but not least, these pack of of shortbread biscuits this one from walkers is in the flavor christmas spiced shortbread they had another one as well actually but that one i thought sounded a bit nicer so yeah selfridges food hall hamper you can even put it in a hamper basket or just leave it in a selfridges bag especially if you're buying for a couple that love their foodie items or maybe if you're going around to a couple who are hosting christmas day to be able to stockpile their cupboards after you've gone and eaten all their food they've still got some yummy treats for after christmas it's not just manchester based this there is one in birmingham and sheffield as well but have you seen the karen restaurants now i saw in john lewis the other day a karen game that you can buy for people um if you don't know what i'm talking about when i say karen it's this whole like tiktok trend this online trend going viral of karen being a stereotypical type of person that is just a complainer hard work and in manchester there's a restaurant like i said birmingham and sheffield have them as well a uh, um, whole restaurant dedicated to the whole karen ethos of 
difficult customer service. Like, I've seen loads of TikTok videos of it. I don't know if it's for me, I'll be honest. But maybe good fun to prank someone or just to, just to have a giggle. I always think home fragrance is a great option to go down for buying for a couple. Because if you're buying for a couple, if they live together, generally speaking, getting a homeware gift is a nice neutral kind of option. Um, so I thought about gifting a couple a nice candle and matches set. So I got these matches from a brand called CCOO Interiors. I'll leave them linked, but this antique brass holder would sit lovely on display. It's got a little match lighter here, and then you get these huge matches. This would be maybe quite nice sat by a fireplace. And then also for candle, I have a small business that I want to talk about called Cedar Lifestyle. Now this is a brand local to me, but um, I got it shipped. Oops, lost the card, one sec. So Lizzie has um, this gorgeous brand of different home fragrance products. I, this is her branding by the way, it's beautiful. Um, I got a couple of items myself and she also kindly included an extra item for me. I'll show you why in just a second. I really wanted to just give a mention to Lizzie because I think she's amazing. She was actually recommended through a friend and she very, very sadly is battling breast cancer at the minute. She's had um, lots of treatment for it and she also had a double mastectomy at 30 which is my age so um yeah i just really wanted to support her business and also mention it to you guys if you also want to support a small business lizzie's amazing she also works with copperfield so in each um package you get this little awareness um to check your boobs because it's very important and yeah i just wanted to support but also shout out to her um her business and share it with you guys too so i got a candle this is the candle that i went for it's in the set you'll know this is me all over it's in the scent embers so nice and smoky and woody oh my god it smells smells amazing smells really really nice but i also did pick up an oil in the scent tega is it tega um, fir, juniper, eucalyptus, pine, and vetiver. So again, very me, this kind of scent. And perfect for this time of the year as well. That's the li little bottle it comes in. I love the kind of brown and cream packaging and branding. She also included another candle for me. And the reason being as well, she was like, I had to include one because it's virtually your name. It's called Freya, or Freja, Freya, with a J, basically. And this scent is far lighter. Oh, it's lovely. But anyway, yeah, I am so happy to have supported Lizzie and her business. Another small business, Jess at Art With Feeling, is someone who I have worked with before on a bespoke piece that I had for our bedroom. She sells artwork from, literally from like 19 pounds, canvas artwork and um, you can go all the way up to something a bit more bespoke like we had in our bedroom one she even incorporated a bit of our lick beige 01 paint that we have on our walls just so it ties in really nicely she also has um, a couple of festive touches within her artwork and this one she sent me i didn't know it was coming but it's so nice of her to send and i just love it it's very minimal very me it's like kind of textured artwork, can you see that? So I always think maybe artwork is subjective, but to get a nice bespoke canvas or something festive like that would be a lovely gift to give. Another thing a couple could always use is a meal voucher of some kind um, to maybe their favorite restaurant or maybe as like a couple state night, we're taking you for dinner. Uh, what else? Is there also like lessons of some kind for maybe cooking lessons, dancing lessons. I know there's always those websites like red letter days and buy a gift where you can get a kind of generic gift to give to a couple and they can always switch out for something else on their website as well that maybe is better suited to them i think i saw some online for like a wellness retreat or a spiritual awakening type gift to give to a couple maybe a his and hers matching set i got these snoodies which are so cozy and i thought i would include these as a good gift idea to give to a couple and um, this one's actually tom's this one lives down in the cinema room and it's just so cozy and um, i'll leave a link to 
snuddies down below but also maybe if you want to go a bit more premium some white company pajamas or robes as well dressing gowns it is quite nice to go matching maybe if you if you want to go all out maybe do a christmas matching set i know that quite a lot of like supermarkets and things do matching sets not just for couples but also for the kids as well and sometimes even for the dogs as well or even not just meal voucher but also maybe cinema tickets for them to enjoy on a date night getting kind of home related gift home fragrance type gift um i thought a matching hand lotion and a hand wash set would be a nice idea to gift um a couple the white company are just a classic this is in the scent sea salt so not just christmasy but it could be used all year round in fact that's the scent that's burning in my candle now and it smells so nice it's nice and deep and masculine but also quite fresh as well because it's sea salt vetiver and cedarwood i absolutely love it but yeah nice little matching duo maybe aesop as well they're another brand that i love a business that i came across online i didn't actually purchase it but i might end up doing but it's from darwin and gray and they do these family banners so again if you're buying for a whole family as opposed to just a couple it'd be quite a nice idea to get something personalized like that or also some kind of, we've had this in the past, um, a chopping board that's been personalized. I think my parents have got one as well with like the name of their house. And that's sort of around the 25 to 30 pound price point. About the 30 to 40 pound price mark, um, I wanted to mention Printworks. They do these coffee table albums um, or like books which we bought previously. Last year, we bought the Great Art by a Great Artist coffee table books, and we bought them for a couple friends that have um, a, a small child who likes to do loads of artwork and stuff, and instead of like filling up your fridge, it's quite nice to maybe save them and pop them within a coffee table book. Um, this one, however, is one of their new ones this year. It's called Life, and it's celebrating all the precious moments in life. It is a photo album. They've also got I think one called Happily Ever After, which is a wedding album, as well as Selfridges Hamper. Like I said, they do quite a lot of personalization, not just in the food section, but the drinks too. You can get things like champagne bottles, Prosecco. I think they do a vodka bottle as well. You can get them online as well, but just to get something personalized and have someone's name on it, I think is just all the more special. So this next item is something a bit fun, quirky, a bit wacky, Can again, a kind of like home decor item, a bit sentimental too. It's from the Edinburgh Casting Studio and it's this handhold casting kit. A handheld casting for two, this one is. They do different kits and different things depending on your budget, starting from around again, like 30, 40 pound price point, but they do them with like um, dome like cloches as well and wooden stands. But this one I just got as the um, simple couple one. You can also do them with like larger ones for families that you can have the whole family put their hands in. You could hold your dog's paw, put your dog's paw in. I just think it's such a genius idea that I had to include this. Again, if a couple have had a new baby, they do one with the baby feet casting kit. Oh, I just think it's so cute. Speaking of baby, if your friends have a baby, young children, to maybe offer them some babysitting coupons, babysitting vouchers, so that they can come and enjoy their date nights. Another thing that I did see on one of those um, websites where they do loads of different gifts is an animal sanctuary experience. I think Chester Zoo, which is local to us, do some kind of like experience whereby you can go a bit earlier, you can see some of the animals, just do something like that. Or like I said, some kind of animal sanctuary where you can actually go and volunteer and help out for the day. You can also like buy someone that as a gift and they can pay to basically be a zookeeper for the day. Another experience you could pay for for the couple to do, or again, as a family is this, which I'm so, I can't believe I've never been, honestly. It's the Harry Potter studio tour, the, um, making of Harry Potter in Watford. We're going in the new year as a family. So myself, Tom, my brother, his fiance now, and my mum and dad, we're all gonna go to um, the making of Harry Potter and I'm very, 
excited for it. So that, yeah, you get your tickets in there. So I've left the tickets at Mum and Dad's because I don't trust myself. I thought I'd show you my little voucher thing booklet that you do get um, for that. I think they're about £50 a ticket, roughly, something like that. So I do have two more kind of premium luxury gift ideas for the £50 to £100 price point. Because obviously when you're buying for a couple, you're probably not spending masses, are you? But if you are, if you want to go a bit more luxury, and um, especially for maybe like newlyweds or soon to be newlyweds for like fiancés, you could buy them a joint unisex fragrance discovery experience that you can do. I, I know quite a few brands do them whereby you can get discovery kits with loads of different fragrances to be able to select one yourself. But you can also go and actually do fragrance making to create your own joint fragrance. Again, good for um, fiancés for their wedding day so they can create a wedding day scent and um, they can both wear it as well if they're both similar in terms of their preferences. And then my last of the luxury items for couples slash families even as well with this one is Lego. I love Lego. We've got several Legos in the past and my, my, myself and Tom, I can get my words out, myself and Tom will just like in the new year or around Christmas time, you know on those in between -y days where you don't really know what the day is in between Christmas and New Year, crack out the Lego. We sometimes do a jigsaw as well or puzzle. But if you get a nice Lego, like a proper adult only Lego. They're quite expensive, so it's definitely a luxury gift. I know they do the Home Alone house, which is so festive and wholesome, and I just love that idea. They also do the Harry Potter Hogwarts as well, like if you wanna go all out and have a massive castle amazing we've got a couple of cars loads to choose from but definitely more of a luxury gift you don't think of lego as being a luxury gift item but they are quite expensive but anyway that is everything that i have to suggest for within today's gift guide i hope you guys have enjoyed it and got some suggestions from this video don't forget to check out my videos from the rest of this week that i've already done and stay tuned for a couple more upcoming um, i hope you guys have enjoyed it and stay tuned for tomorrow hope to see you all then Bye guys.